Welcome to the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen, where we share gourmet recipes at a low budget wonder. Now check this out. Okay, today I'm gonna do a little bit of a twisted version of the beef wellington. As you can see here, I've got uh, all the ingredients I'm gonna be uh, using for this recipe. And the most important part is the meat. Now, I'm doing something a little bit different today. I'm gonna use a tenderloin instead of the beef fillet. The beef fillet usually runs about $20 a pound, and as you can see, this here is uh, almost $7 a pound, and I got five pounds of this for 33 bucks. So it's a, it's a real good alternative, a cheaper alternative, to making the beef wellington. Now here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this piece here, which I portioned out of that whole five pounds. I probably got about uh, one and a half to two pounds here. Nice portion that'll fit, wrap nicely inside the uh, pastry when we get to that point. Now this stage, we're gonna salt the dickens out of it. Some pepper. Same thing on all sides. Hot pan. Olive oil. We're gonna go ahead and put that right in there. As you can hear, it's really hot pan. You can see it working its magic. And it's good to push it up against that side so you can get all sides of this here, right up in there. See how I tilt the pan? Just like that. Rotate it. Now at this point, you want to brush this with some mustard, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and get into this here and be very generous. This is actually a horseradish mixture. Easier if I get it here. Which will give it a little bit of a heat, a little bit of a kick, okay? Right when it comes out, when it's hot like this, is when you wanna brush the whole thing. And don't be sparingly about it. Just make sure it's an even coat over the entire tenderloin or fillet, whichever you decide to use, okay? We're gonna start chopping up the veggies. I'm gonna put all these mushrooms in here. Almost all of them. Garlic, salt, some pepper. Bell pepper. We're gonna go ahead and put uh, some basil leaves. And uh, some of this onion here. This green onion. And then we're gonna blend that all up. Nice and fine. Just like so. Now, we've got a hot pan. We're gonna take it right to it. Now, this is a real critical part of the process because you got to make sure that you cook out all the water. But, uh, I am going to add just a pinch of this mint jelly. Which should give it a good flavor. Get that stirred up in there. Now as you can see, she's drying out real nice and starting to stick to a non-stick skillet. So that tells me that it is dry enough. So we'll go ahead and kill the heat and uh, start to roll the tender loin, or beef fillet, whichever you're using. Move into the next stage. Now what we're gonna do is use some of this fine prosciutto. I'm gonna layer this on the uh, saran wrap. There, something like that. I want to cover the whole distance there of the width of that tenderloin. Now, what we want to do next is take those mushrooms that we just dried up, that mixture, and we're going to start spreading that all over this. A nice, even coat. Just like this. 
Now, very carefully, we're going to take the end here and we're going to start to wrap it and roll it, okay? It gets to be a little bit uh, like sushi this way. But this is the very critical stage because we want to roll it nice and even and tight. All the way through. All the way here to the end. And then what you want to do once you finish off the roll is you're going to get here on the end. You're going to pinch it and you're going to twist. Okay. Real nice and snug. Don't get out of control with it. Just make sure it's it's nice and round. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take it to the fridge and let it set up for about 15 minutes. Now out she comes. Time to unwrap it and go ahead and get ready to rewrap it in the pastry. Very simple. Now normally the pastry will cover the end and wrap it, but this isn't uh, a wide enough pastry. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and very carefully go ahead and roll it over right here and take it into itself and right where it needs to be pinched off together over here I'm gonna go ahead and cut the excess off pull that section out carefully continue to roll it and here on the ends where you'd normally pinch it off you don't want it to fall out if it's long enough or wide enough go ahead and pinch off as much as you can what I'm going to do is I'm going to just pinch off just to close it a little bit tighter make it a little bit more snug because what we want to do at this point let's flip this around and we're gonna wrap it again with the saran wrap. Very snug, very tight, just like we did the first time with just the beef. All the way to the end. Again, with the ends, we're gonna twist real tightly. I even like to give it a spin like this. Makes it real snug there. And then back to the fridge for another 15 minutes to make sure that it sets up. And now she comes. Now at this point, if you want, you could have left it in the fridge overnight and cook it the next day. It doesn't matter, but we're gonna go ahead and do it now, of course, for the video. I'm gonna go ahead and unwrap that bad boy. Now, what you want to make sure you do to get that golden brown, you're going to go ahead and brush it with some egg. And if you'd like to get fun with it, you can do a design on there. Do the same thing. Now I want to coat the pan real good. So I don't want it to stick. We'll go ahead and throw that bad boy down. And we're going to take it to the oven. And then she goes. 425 degrees for 40 minutes. All right, let's see what we've got. 
Internal temperature should reach 120 to 125 depending on how rare you like your meat. Doesn't look too shabby, does it? Now we're going to let that cool about 10 minutes before we cut into it. And here we go, the final product. Let's see how we did. Make one nice little slice here. Nice and easy. Got to be very delicate with it. It's very soft, very tender. As you can see there, she's looking good. Got another piece here. And that is how you do it. Beef Wellington right here in the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen.